Hey guys, it's your boy Roman and I'm here again with another video and this week it's an amazing week because I have finally reached 500 subs. Yeah, I, I think that's 500. So yeah, I have 500 subs. So thank you guys. I don't know. Thanks to all of you guys who helped me to reach 500 subs. For those who subscribed, those who commented, liked, shared my video. For those who've constantly been there supporting my channel, I thank you so much. So for this week, I am basically doing a continuation of last week where I spoke about 10 word French expressions translated to English technically. However, this week, I will be looking at 10 weird or different or unusual English expressions because French or maybe other foreign languages are the only ones that have weird expressions. <laughs> Alright guys, and please be sure to stick around for the end of the video because I'll be doing something special for you all. Let's talk about it. Number one, to kick the bucket. Out of all the things that you could have said, out of all the analogies that we could have made, we've decided to use kick the bucket. <laughs> Doctor, how's my husband? I'm sorry, Madame Fontainebleau, but your husband, he kicked the bucket. <laughs> he what now? Like, where did he get a bucket to kick one? Alright guys, so... <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got the idea, so to kick the bucket simply means that you died. Or well, not you, <laughs> but when you use it, you'd more like you to say someone has passed. Personally, I don't see why a bucket. I can't visualize how kicking a bucket could mean that someone has died. It's, it's just beyond me. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. It's just, you know? <laughs> Number two, as cool as a cucumber. Now, for the life of me, I don't know why a cucumber, there are so many different fruits we could have used, and I still don't get how this fits the situation. Jean-Pierre, I'm very sorry about your dad, and that your wife cheated on you, that you lost the kids, two hours later, and that the house burnt down, and that you broke your leg, and that you lost your job, and that your cat died. One eternity later. I hope you're doing well. That so you're keeping positive. This is fine, Margaret. For I am as cool as a cucumber. So basically, guys, if you haven't guessed it by now, that expression simply means that you're okay, you're fine, that you're doing well in spite of what is going on or despite all the negative or catastrophic things that have been happening in your life. Number three, a cat has got your tongue. Now, <laughs> personally, this one is quite common across languages and the cat is sometimes changed to another animal and so on and so forth. But for the life of me, how does a cat, like, why would a cat even have your tongue? What would you need to be doing to have a cat grab your tongue? Juan Carlos de la Segunda Guerra Mundial, ven acá, dos minutos mami. Inmediatamente. Ya, ya vengo. Ahora mismo. Ya. Yeah. Sí, mamá. Estaba haciendo el laundry. And mira. What I found in your clothes. What is this? Explain yourself, Juan Carlos de la Segunda Guerra Mundial. ¿Qué pasa, mi hijo? ¿El gato tiene tu lengua? <laughs> Pues quédate ahí, no diga nada, y voy para la chancleta, quédate ahí mijo. Well guys, this is a pretty popular expression and it simply means that you've been caught. That's all that it means. And upon being caught, you simply don't have the words to explain yourself or to justify yourself. So in other words, you're like frozen, stunned, like, you know? Why use a cat for that analogy? I simply have no idea. I mean. Would it be the same if I said a dog had your tongue or a rat has your tongue? I, I, I honestly have no idea. Why on earth we're saying a cat has your tongue? I don't know. Number four. That's Greek to me. Maman, I have this homework 
and 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 I don't know what to do. And can can you of help? Of course, me? darling. Yay! Give it here. Here you go. Thank you. You know what? I know nada. Son, this is all Greek to me. Like, why don't you pay attention in school? Alright guys, so that expression is Greek to me. It's... I don't know, as I said, it's a little bit odd for me. But in a sense, what it means is that something is incomprehensible, you're not understanding, it's out of your domain, or you're just simply confused. While we may not necessarily use it in a situation as precise as that one, it is generally used when you are confused about something and you have no idea what's happening. Number five, pardon my French. Now, for the life of me, English people tend to be so obsessed with foreign languages that we often make mention of them in our expressions. Why? I have no idea. And I doubt that you have other speakers of other languages walking around using the word English in their expressions. Or if they do, I have no idea. Oh, oh yeah, mmm, oh yeah. I can do all of that and more. So yeah, I'll be putting jam all over that. Tell me, what else would you like? Daddy! They don't want toilet paper! And I just put Damn it, Mario! I'm on the phone! <laughs> Pardon my French. Where were we? Eh, that is not even French, oh. I'll call you back. Ah, you talking back to me now? Ah, you smelling yourself now? Eh, that, that ain't French now? Ah, eh. Hold on, dear. I'm going to be giving you a fast lesson of French today now. Alright guys, so as you could have guessed, that one is used whenever you've said something inappropriate or when you've used an expletive. So we often say, pardon my French or something like that. I mean, to be honest, it's not really French <laughs> and it has nothing to do with French. <laughs> but you get the point, right? You definitely get the point. And I don't know why we even say this. Would it make sense if I say, pardon my Spanish, pardon my... what? I don't know, I don't know, something else. But that could have been done better, right? Number six, to be under the weather. Like, seriously now? I mean, that is one of the most ridiculous ones yet. Like, I mean, come on. Can we be, can we be beside the weather? Above the weather? Like, what the hell? All right, this is Mike reporting for CNN Live. And we seem to be over the weather today. And we are having a lot of storm because we are over the weather today. And tomorrow, we will be beside the weather. So for those who haven't guessed by now, to be under the weather simply means that you're sick, you're not feeling well, and that's pretty much it. But why under the weather? <laughs> I literally have no idea. Number seven. So we've seen before that using fruits is not strange to English idioms or expressions. And if you thought cucumber was weird, wait until you see this one. Going bananas. Like seriously, can I go apple too? What if I want to go pineapple? Or if I want to go strawberry or peach? See what I'm saying? Hey, are you talking about me? Hey, get out with that camera. Get away with that camera. Oh. Get away, get away. Alright, so that one means that you're going crazy, you've lost it, you've gone nuts. There you go with food again. <laughs> nuts, like seriously. You've gone nuts, you've gone bananas, you've gone crazy. Ballistic. I have no idea why we use food. I don't know. It's, it's beyond me. But nonetheless, if you would like this expression, be my guess. Go ahead. Number eight. To let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> so, not only do we like to put fruits in our expressions or we like to use the word cat or we like to use cats in expressions and this one in particular it's it's quite odd I mean like I don't know I'm just simply lost for words hey Margaret hey Philip we need to talk uh, I don't know how to say this but yesterday I was talking to John and I accidentally let the cat out of the bag I told him that you were cheating Hello. on him like seriously I'm sorry why do you have cats in your bag are the poor little things okay get them out there don't put cats in your bag 
But basically guys, um, that one is maybe obvious to get. <laughs> So when someone says that he or she has let a cat or let the cat out of the bag or a bag, it simply means that they revealed something or whatever that was being hidden is now on the forefront. And letting the cat out of the bag could be something that is accidental, or it could be some, or it could even be something that's deliberate. All right. So the next time you want to, uh, I don't know, say something, let's be like, hey. Let's take the cat out of the bag, but I don't know, for me it's personally odd because would it be the same if I, if I said uh, to let the dogs out of the bag or let the rats out of the bag? You know what I'm saying? Why a bag and why a cat? Like seriously, why? Number nine, to take something with a grain of salt. Now this expression is particularly odd for me because how do you exactly get a grain of salt? Imagine, you get the shaker and you're like, nah, just what? Ah, oops, look, if you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, yeah, it's almost impossible to get a single grain of salt. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> it's almost impossible. But what this expression means is that when someone says something to you, you will not believe them 100%. You hear them, you acknowledge what they've said, and you bear it in mind. But you will not hold on to it like, just like that. It's like, for example, as, as a teacher, someone says, oh, that's a bad student. I hear you. But I will not go into that class with the perception that that's a terrible student. I will go and make my own conclusions while bearing what you, bearing what you said in mind. Alright, so it's just to take something with a certain degree of skepticism. Number 10. To wake up on the wrong side of the bed. No, honestly, this one just simply has me like... Seriously? Hey babe, what's up? Ah, oh, hold on. I just woke on the wrong side of the bed. Just come back in like a second so I can fix it. Alright, come back in like a second. Ah. Ah. Mm. Oh. Yes. Now this is the side of bed I should have got up on. Yeah. So what are you saying, babe? I'm feeling excellent today. How about you? <laughs> Alright, so first of all, I I don't know how this expression even came into being like. Which side of the bed is the right side of the bed in any case? Like, I mean. Just like, why on earth don't you just say what you mean? I'm in a bad mood. You get what I'm saying? Just say what you mean and mean what you say. So for those who haven't got it by now, this expression simply means that you are in a bad mood or you got up, you literally got up out of bed, you walk in a bad mood. But I would just prefer people to say what they mean. So basically guys, those are my 10 expressions or 10 weird, odd, different, peculiar English expressions that sound odd. So it's not just French that has weird expressions. Alright, so we're here at the end of the video guys and as I said to you, I have a surprise But before that, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up To like, comment and share it, alright guys And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell Well, the surprise I have for you guys is that I will be doing some shoutouts So this will be to all those persons who've been supporting me And they've even asked for a shoutout So if you would like to be shouted in one of my next videos, just simply subscribe and drop your name down below. Alright, so let's go. Alright, so the first name is Elver Galarga de Argentina. <laughs> so the first person is from Argentina, Argentina, and his name is Elver Galarga. So Elver, you know yourself, just simply drop a saludos in the comentarios. So Hola Elver, acabo de decir tu nombre entonces, si escuchaste tu nombre solamente di hola en los comentarios abajo, ¿vale? Elver Galarga de Argentina. Alright, so the next person is, well, the next persons are Derek and Juan Jesus de Panama. If memory serves correct, they are brothers or friends, I don't remember. Derek y Juan Jesus de Panama. Ustedes ya saben quién son ustedes, entonces digan saludos en los comentarios abajo para que todo el mundo pueda saber quién son ustedes. And, uh, well, there should, should be some, some other names. If I forgot your name, just simply make me know it was not intentional. And I'll just be going through my comment section and picking out some random persons from my first video and from my last video just to give you guys a few shout out. All right, so let's get into it. Hold on. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh yeah, I, rem I remember this. It was it was so cool. All right, so the f I'll just be choosing some random names, guys, because I've come this far only because of you guys. Thank you so much. So here. Oh, I'll just be highlighting um, Arancha. This is Arancha Graham here. 
very good friend of mine, excellent girl, amazing cook, sweet, very amazing girl. With her coming, it's it's a nice place. I love it. So real and clear, beautiful. There's someone I remember who I believe was my first first commenter. Um, she, it was Rashika. I have to point her out. So even though I'm skipping through, I know I remember from my head she was the first person I believe to comment on my video. If memory serves correct. All right, but just let me see. All right, because you know that. Yeah, let me see. Oh, this is Miles. Funny guy. Uh, sure guys sure miles funny guy let's say, say that all right so i don't see her name at the end here so maybe she wasn't the last but i don't know because these seem to be all mixed up as in the order so okay miles says funny guy thank you miles then there's saga geminis geminis good video thank you saga all right so let's quickly do that Roshika, yeah i know her yeah she said, um, interesting, great going Roman. This video definitely brings back memories. Of course, Rashika. You know you're my chica. <laughs> then there's Daniel Andres Munoz. Oh yes, yeah. saludos, 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 Joy. Saludos. Alright, so um just choose some random names again. This is by no specific order. Oh Rodian, hey Rodi. Oh, Valentin. So um Valentin, man. Really nice video, Roman. Um, I like the church part the most. And yeah, come visit Zadar. I would love to. I mean, we, for the longest time, I should have visited you, but mm, I'll try and visit you this year. Let's see how things work. All right, this is going to be a long ass video. I'm sorry. All right, let's, let's just mute that. All right, hold on. Uh, this one is. Ah, uh, Herman. Oh, first of all, I must say congrats to. Um, I must say thank you to Herman, David. Because he was so cool that he literally typed out all the expressions and the specific minutes in which they appeared. Or a specific minute in which they appeared. That was excellent. And by the way, with this video I made a few errors, typos. So whatever typos or whatever errors made, I parted them in the subtitles. Alright guys? So Herman, muchas gracias hoy. I really appreciate it. O tío. Mm. Ah, then there's Shana Lee. Uh, lol. This was super fun to watch. I learned some French. Ah, ooh la la. <laughs> Le fromage est dans les toilettes. <laughs> All right, so, oh, this one, oh, she's my teacher. Ah, Leonie Wallis. Uh, excellent. Merci, madame. Oh, oof. All right, All right so let's go, go with this one here. So here we have um, Mario Rodriguez. And I was like one day ago, he said, Soy el mexicano Omegle. Me subscribí a tu canal y seguimos en Omegle diciendo sobre tu canal. Saludos. Ok, muchas gracias, chav muchas gracias chaval. Lo aprecio mucho. Muchas gracias. Um, let's take one more. I'm the one who talked to Omegle. Launo Soto. Um, es una chica. Y, no, es una, es una chica. Sí, pues. Muchas gracias de nuevo, tía. Lo aprecio. And with that, I said, guys, that's all these shout out. Um, so if you'd like for me to do a shout out just simply let me know and it shall be done so thank you so much guys this could only be possible this this couldn't have been possible for you guys it is amazing and i thank you so much it means a lot to me and now that we are at 500 let's move on to 1000 i'll see you guys then so before we go again guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed this yet don't forget to share it um comment like to your friends about it and i'll see you next week Ciao, ciao.